Now let's do a maximum likelihood estimator example with the Poisson distribution. So we need a Poisson random variable, so maybe that's something like the number of textbooks that a person buys for fall semester 2017. Okay, so you go out, you get a random sample, in other words, independent, identically distributed. Um, you get a random sample of maybe 50 students. So we have X1 through X50. And I won't tell you all the numbers, but let's just say that we're looking at the sum of the XIs and that equals maybe 150 just to keep things easy. All right, so we have the sum of the XIs. And now we're wondering, let's figure out what the mean number of textbooks that a person buys during fall semester 2017. So we have that parameter lambda, so remember lambda is that mean that we're looking for. And so we can write down the univariate PDFs here. So um, each of these XIs has a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda, and remember, lambda is unknown. That's what we're, we are looking for. And so we can write down each one of these PDFs. So the PDF of one of these X's given lambda is equal to e to the negative lambda, lambda to the XI divided by XI factorial. All right, so we have our univariate PDFs there. Let's go ahead and write down the likelihood function. So we know that the likelihood of lambda given X1 through X50 is equal to the joint PDF or PMF um, of those X's. So in our case here, since we have independent X's, we can just take the product of those univariates. So we have the product from 1 to 50 of f of xi given lambda. So go ahead and fill that in. We have e to the negative lambda, lambda to the xi divided by xi factorial. All right, so let's go ahead and take the log because that'll make things a lot easier. Our log likelihood of lambda given the x's. So remember, here we have a product. If we're taking the log of a product, that's the sum of the logs, right? So um, the log of a product, like A times B, is equal to the sum of the logs. So log A plus log B. All right, so that's what we're going to use here. We have a product. We're taking the log. The log of a product is equal to the sum of the logs. So it's equal to the sum of the logs, so we have the sum, i equals 1 to 50, of the logs. So let's take these one at a time and log them. So log of e to the negative lambda times lambda to the xi divided by xi factorial. Okay, so let's take these one at a time. Um, again, we have some of the of these pieces, so i equals 1 to 50. Okay, log of e to the negative lambda, that just gives us negative lambda. Um, log of lambda to the xi is xi times log lambda. All right, now we have this stuff divided by xi, and we're taking the log. So that means we have log of this with a negative sign in front. So in other words, subtract off log of the xi factorial. All right, let's look at these pieces. This has lambda, this has lambda. So neither of those are constants with, res with respect to lambda, but this last piece, xi factorial, that is a constant with respect to lambda. There's no lambdas in there, so it doesn't matter. We can just drop it out. We learned that we can drop out the constants. So our log likelihood is proportional to just these first two pieces. Okay. 
So we can see that we're adding up this constant 50 times, and then we have the sum of the xi's times log lambda. So we can go ahead and write it that way. So if we're adding up lambda 50 times, that's multiplication, we have 50 times lambda. All right, and then we had the sum of that second piece. So we have the sum of the xi's times log lambda. Okay, so this is our likelihood. Now we know if we're doing maximum likelihood, we have to go ahead and take the derivative. So take the derivative with respect to lambda. Okay, derivative of lambda with respect to lambda, easy. So we end up with just the constant, which is negative 50. And then we have constant times log lambda. We're taking the derivative. So we have sum of the xi's divided by lambda. Okay, so we have that derivative with respect to lambda. Now we can go ahead, set that equal to zero, and solve for lambda. So when we set that equal to zero, then we get 50 equals sum of the xi over lambda. Then we want to solve for lambda, so we get lambda equals the sum of the xi's divided by 50. Before I said the sum of the xi's was 150, so we can go ahead and plug that in. So we have 150 over 50, or in other words, 3. So our maximum likelihood estimator is some of the xi's divided by our sample size, which in our case was 50. So if we want to write this super generally for any Poisson thing, the maximum likelihood estimator of lambda is some of the xi's divided by the sample size. So in other words, that's just our sample mean. Um, in our case, we go ahead and plug in these numbers, we get lambda hat equals three. That's our maximum likelihood estimate. Okay, then of course our last step, take the derivative of this. We wanna get the second derivative of the log likelihood. Make sure that it is, again, concave down so that we're getting a max rather than a min.